glasses back on. Corny already pooched the video. Hot dogs. This was like a joke about a year ago. Me and Emerson were like, let's just do this to show people like have fun. Who cares what other people are thinking? It's funny to look at. Apparently, my car is too good of a uh, level now for hot dogs. Everybody hates hot dogs. What? They're like, your car has it is leveled up and you have passed the hot dogs generation. No way. They're gonna stay until we boost it. Cause when we boost it, I wanna get like the pillar thing here where you get like the three gauges. You can get like carbon fiber pieces. So I either wanna get the carbon one or get like an Alcantara one that it's just like the whole thing and that has the gauge pillar pod thingies. But for now, hot dogs are staying, but they will go one day. I'm sorry you guys hate them. I still think they're great. The last thing you guys saw, I drove this thing home. I was super fired up. Then yesterday I just spent the day, I drove around town, did a couple things. I've just been trying to drive it like back and forth a couple places make sure that everything we did is solid, everything is tight. The biggest thing that what I wanna do right away right now is we don't have a reverse light. So I've been kind of really nervous backing up, which sounds stupid, but like if I go somewhere and I'm in a parking lot and I'm like, okay, I need to back up now, it makes me kind of nervous because I, you know, other people don't really pay attention. You guys remember, this is the one it came with actually. The, the actual connections came broken. I tried to solder a couple wires back onto the back of like this little LED thing here, but unfortunately we weren't able to make it work, which kind of sucks, but I think I found a solution. So this morning I just stopped at Canadian Tire, picked up these little strip guys. I think, to be honest, they're for like cool kids to put near their automatic shifter. And my thought is, if I can just peel this, stick it in here, obviously I'll get rid of this one, and then just put the wires through the back, probably have to drill a new hole over here. I should be able to just make this my reverse light. Obviously it's not stupid bright. I think maybe 12 volt power will get it a little bit brighter. The last thing I want is for me to get hit, trying to back up, in this car and it's my own fault for not having some sort of backup alert. Look at that, dude, that actually looks perfect. Does that not look really good? It looks good. So what I did, I wasn't gonna show you guys until I did it and it was successful because <laughs> last time I tried to fix this light, I just broke it. I like drilled down into this side and then I drilled down into this side and I drilled a new hole. So it goes farther in and then the wires can just come out. I'm just gonna have to fill this. So now we can come back to that. So while that little reverse light thing dries, we wanna do with the main point of today's video is, Brad just showed up with his homemade haircut. Can we show the people? Can show the people? <laughs> I think this was more of a drunk decision, because yesterday I asked him if I got his hair, he says no. What happens? I go to bed, I got a Snapchat from you, you're in the bathroom, Cass is cutting your hair. Rude. <laughs> it looks good though. Anyway, so I told you guys that I want the BRZ to be kind of like a full out build, and I want it to be fast. We haven't got to the power stuff yet, we're gonna do a lot of power stuff. I promise we're doing power stuff. But like I told you guys, I wanna start focusing in my attention on one thing at a time and I've been sitting on these things since literally the summer when I got them delivered and we announced that we were doing the Karma build one of the first things that showed up at my house was buddy club parts we got the tail lights and we got the seats the seats that come in the BRZ are really nice they're actually like a really nice quality seat they're comfortable they're heated the Alcantara and leather mix up whatever you want to call it it's like it's really nice I like them a lot we already started kind of doing some interior stuff like the steering wheel and stuff like that and I was like, if we're gonna start modding the interior, we may as well mod the whole interior instead of just like a little thing like the steering wheel. Exactly. And a lot of you guys are gonna like it because you hate that I have a steering wheel with no airbag, but no harnesses. So we got a seat with harnesses, so we'll actually be safe if we get in an accident. We have seats. Have harness. We have a harness. The, the super low rails. Yeah. We don't have a harness bar, which is something that I didn't really think no. about until it was seat time. We're just gonna start. Really weird way to ship a pair of seats. Oh man, those are nice. These are gorgeous, man. They actually are really nice. Don't cut the seats. Wait, don't do this. <laughs> wow, these are nice. A lot of times I don't put what he says in the videos because he's a very honest guy. And like if we open something that's he'll be like, what the going on yeah and I just I won't put it in the video and then usually by the end of it he like looks at it a little bit longer but when he's hyped up about something that's how you know it's nice how do we get it to maybe, maybe we do this this nope that's definitely the lumbar what's oh that do we have to hand crank it what 
<laughs> what the hell is this? Why are we gonna do this? Set it up to a drill. <laughs> the whole things are suede. Really Look nice. Look at the buddy club stitching on that. Like that is really nice. Oh my god, man, these are nice. <laughs> so at least we're replacing nice seats with nice seats. Yeah. You know, like when we took the seats at Emerson's 240. Yeah, those ones were garbage before. Yeah, like we were replacing garbage with at that point anything. Yeah, and I like that it came assembled. Yeah, that was nice. a super fur to move. The All right, so lumbar is just atrocious. Right yeah, now. I don't know how to do the lumbar. That's what we got to rock with. There's no way. There's got to be some sort of movement. I don't know. Does this feel like it's doing anything to you? Ready? No, it's not doing anything. But the lumbar is in my spine. Yeah. This ready? There you go. Yeah, I love a well packaged item. Those are nice. Oh, stickers, guys! Come on. I want a sticker. It's I think five. Five. Four point. Four point. Two inch straps. Enjoy the fun of motorsport. Nice. Will do. <laughs> will this like one this. should bolt somewhere down there. There we go. Alright, get him. Honestly, I think that looks nice. I was just telling Brad that I got the red ones right when he was opening it, and he's like, man, should have got the black. But, it don't look bad. <laughs> you You're ready to go. <laughs> are you driving a diesel? <laughs> Sounds like you're driving a Duramax. No, no, no. 1300 horsepower. BRZ. There we go. Now that was the easy part. The hard part is getting this thing out. How about the electrical clips? Of course I remember both the electrical clips. Of course. Go, oh, can you actually get it out nicely? Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Probably. Holy sh They're even f***ing Allens. No way. Okay, so we didn't put this in the video yet because we just thought we were idiots. And well, we didn't think we were idiots, but we didn't want to like bash Buddy Club. So we thought they didn't come with these bolts. So we were trying to install the seat and we couldn't find these bolts. And we were like, I guess they didn't come with it. We looked everywhere, we couldn't find them. So we went and we found literally eight bolts sitting in our little bin of things. Their Allen keys, Brad was like, oh, I don't know if I want to put the Allen keys in. And then they went too deep and they were touching the fabric. So like for the last 15 minutes, I cut all, I cut eight of these bolts down to size so we'd have the right bolts. Then we went and we found washers. And then right after we put them in, Brad finds this bag on the Genesis of all places right we could behind put it, the seat box. Because we're idiots. And not only does it have the four bolts, they're the exact same thing that we just used. Like what are the odds? Like what are the chances that's the one I found over there decided to use and this is the one that it came with? That's crazy. <laughs> Come on, man. We're never gonna use them. <laughs> yeah, who, who likes Allen bolts? <laughs> Apparently Buddy Club does. Oh my God. That was almost too easy. Yours is a nice car. Really is. This thing is basically just a version of a 240. You want to say that one again? This thing is, is a version, nice version of a 240. A version the 240 of a 240 is a version of itself. No, 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 no. 240 is a beautiful car. It You're is. never going to say it's and not. And we'll just end it right there. No. Or you're just going to end it right there. No. This is just like a 20 years newer 240. Mm, that part's true, I guess. You can buy this thing and it doesn't need to be completely rebuilt. For time reference, Way longer than it was supposed to take. They're in. And now the tools I need to lock down the final bolts right here are underneath the seat. But oh lumbar thing. my god. What? These are not the lumbar support. We're doing the wrong thing. What? You know this little lumbar support guy? Yeah. You lift it. Oh! I could have been doing that the entire time. Hello! How come it hasn't been doing that? Well, we know for next time. How come it wasn't doing Ooh. that when we were out? I feel like that was a lot more work than I wanted it to Absolutely. be. Absolutely. That took way longer. But, for today, why, why are you driving when you're in neutral? Slow. It looks fantastic though. Like it looks super cool. I think the stitching's done like really, really nicely on these seats. I like it. I think it looks really good. Just the whole the whole shebang looks real nice. I don't know if you guys would see it through the... It looks good, dude. In person, you can see right through the glass. It looks really nice.
and you have to like blast off. It's really weird. They mm -hmm. slide, it's just not as much as you, like easy as you wish they would, you know? Yeah. All right, this is weird. This is the wrong side of my car. <laughs> All right, both sides are in. Both sides are a little bit weird to slide back and forth. No matter what we adjust, they kind of like stick back and forth. I don't know why they're super lubed up. They should be sliding super nice, but either way, they, they slide. It's just like not as easy as OEM, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, and right now is the ideal time to do the harness bars and stuff too because I actually don't have anything in the back of the car. You guys know all these panels and stuff inside here? Dude, the tint is just making it incredibly dark. Um, all my interior panels in the back section of the car are off right now because I had to take them off to mount the kit. And the kit actually needs two more hardware pieces right here which I'm gonna do next time I take the whole thing off. So I don't wanna clip everything back together inside the car and then take it all back off because the more times you take it on and off the more the clips are gonna break. Um, but with it off is where all those, I think where those harness bars will bolt to. Like I think they bolt just across back here in the rear section, somewhere like that. But right now the rear of the car is the whole, the whole thing's taken apart. So right now would be the best time to do it. We were thinking about trying to install them for now a different way like just putting them to maybe like the seat rails or doing something like that but it's not really that safe we looked into it a little bit and there's no point in trying to get them in right now just to make it look cooler because this is not as functional it's not as safe so for now we're just going to use the seat belt obviously we don't want to do it for too long because we don't want to wear this out but seat belt the seat belt clips are in oh i should install the reverse light before we leave that's a good idea get this lens on here i think having like the black led strip on the black Housing? Yeah, you can't it, really notice it. No, yeah, it makes it look really nice. So we're gonna need to, oh, that hole's so close. Um, just fire a hole, kind of like right where that would line up. I guess like right in the corner there. It's kind of ugly because it's going into like a dirty bumper. Give them a little temperature. Honestly, yeah, the heat shrink's probably not gonna tighten on this. It's literally the smallest wires ever. All right, before I tape these things all up, let's make sure it works. You want to go get in this bad girl and put it in reverse? Yeah, put her in. Hey, there we go. It's not stupid bright. Obviously, it's daylight. Like, the daylight is coming in on this thing, but, like, it works. You know? It's enough to let people know I'm in reverse. Yeah. I'm pretty sure last time we put seats in this car, when I didn't leave them in, because they were, like, they were the cheap Recaro ones, um, when I put them in, I'm pretty sure I did the like seatbelt in and out 20 times in 30 seconds type thing to make the chime go away. But I don't remember for sure. The seats feel good though, like they definitely feel, you feel tight. Dude, these thick beats are nice. Yeah. Even in the rain, you're just like, do whatever you want. Um, they feel tight. The lumbar, I might just not be used to it, but I think it's just a little aggressive. Yeah. Like I would appreciate if I could dumb it down just a little bit. But other than that, I think they're fine. Civic ones, they're loose as hell. Yeah. Like they're just, their design is really bendy. These ones are like super nice. I don't feel like I'm going anywhere. <laughs> so aside from this airbag light, which we maybe we'll be able to get programmed out, I'm not 100% sure. We'll have to take it to a dealership where like someone knows us yeah. or would like to treat us nicely. <laughs> and then these ones are always on, but they only did the one dinging cycle, which is kind of cool. Yeah. So, all in all, I think they're pretty good seats. I think if you were like, if you were actually gonna do some kind of track event, this would be an unreal seat. Like I feel like if I set it up properly and you wanted to just track on the weekends and daily drive it, the reclinable, reclinability, maybe that's a word. And they're gonna look so much, it's really hard to film inside my car just cause of the tints. Like everything's really dark, but these are gonna look unreal when we get the harnesses and everything set up in here. I know a lot of people are gonna rip on me for putting all this stuff into a car that I'm gonna daily, but I want a daily like a show car. You know what I mean? That's that's the point. I'm making that decision. It's a dumb one maybe, but I'm making it. So huge thank you again to Buddy Club for helping us out with the build. And a big shout out to DSG Performance because everything that you've seen me do on the BRZ so far can be purchased through DSG, if not like their exhaust and stuff is their own products now. Um, but all that kind of stuff, they, they only really supply like the the good products like you can't really go get cheap stuff from them you can only get really nice stuff from DSG and something that I told you guys I really want to do with this build is just keep it as nice as possible and just have like a crazy nice build quality honestly just installing the seats and installing the exhaust and everything that we've done like the wheels the craziest wheels I've ever done and everything we're doing is just like the quality I guess coming fresh off of kind of doing more of like an eBay Civic build is just unreal. Like I can't even believe that I'm doing half the stuff I'm doing. It's just crazy. Shout out to my little DIY reverse light. This thing is dope. And that's pretty much it. So like I said, we gotta figure out something with this harness bar so we can get the harnesses in there because 
I don't want to destroy the seats with like the seatbelt coming across them. And I have a plan for these guys that hopefully works out. I would be really pleased if it does. But that is it. That's all I'm gonna have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I will catch you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out and stay committed. What? I found out why I didn't want to move. The buckle on the wrong side? Nope. Just look at the front. Look at the look at the bolt. Bobby, <laughs> you missed. <laughs> I, I fired a blank. My wrench is stuck. I can't get it out. It's just one with the seat now. Let me guess. It's my wrench. Oh, it's your wrench.